Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Goodman. And over there is John Lewandowski. How you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. Been a pretty hectic day for me today. Ooh, I had a lot me to too, out. man. Um, uh, and other note, I do have two things I wanted to get to before anything. Um, there were two things brought to my attention today. Um, first off, for those of you that are Mighty Ducks fans, um, I would like to uh, uh, tell you that they are um, coming out with the uh, first Mighty Ducks movie jerseys and the Hawks jersey. You can buy a Conway Adidas jersey and a Bombay Hawks jersey. Um, so those, that was announced over the last, uh, week. Um, uh, update on Scott Wedgwood. Uh, he is okay after being stretched off the ice. He will be able to play their next game. So. That's all I got there. So today the uh, Admirals took out the Iowa Wild. The Iowa Wild beat the Admirals on uh, the 11th, 4-3, uh, to three, a very close game. Um, so uh, with that, I'm going to, we're going to start talking about the game a little bit. All right, so shots on goal in the first period. Iowa outshot Milwaukee fifteen to nine. In the second period, Milwaukee outshot Iowa sixteen to nine. In the third period, both teams had nine shots on goal, and Milwaukee in total outshot Iowa thirty four to thirty three. Now on the power play, Milwaukee went zero for two. With 18 minutes, 9 infractions. Iowa went 0 for 6 with 12 minutes, 6 infractions. All righty. Um, uh, another notice. Uh, lots of uh, the Admirals get caught early at the 624 mark with a bench finder. Too many men on the ice. Just that, uh, uh, that's one little penalty I don't like seeing every once in a while. Uh, this is the most the Admirals have been penalized this season. Um, a lot of cross-checking, slashing, roughing, 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 roughing. It was like Oprah handing out roughing calls. Mm. You get a roughing, you get a roughing, you get a roughing. <laughs> um, I hope that uh, Jordan Gross, who was injured in the third, I think it was? I at the five-minute mark of the third. Okay. So it was at the five-minute mark of the third um, that uh, Jordan Gross uh, left off the ice, he was uh, cross-checked by Tedder Kaspic, uh into the boards. So uh, we'll see if Jordan Gross is good to go tomorrow, or will we see um, Keaton Thompson or um, Xavier Bouchard? Um, so scoring in the first was Tommy Novak. Um, uh, off of his fifth of the season with an assist from Cole Schneider. Schneider actually made this goal happen. He skated across in front of Wallstad right before um, Novak had released. Um, Wallstad had nowhere, no clue where that puck was going. Um, so uh, interesting there. Uh, then in the second, um, at the 949 mark, Tim Schaller scored his second of the season with a, to John Leonard's 10th assist of the season. With his second assist of the season, Yaroslav Askarov. Um, then scoring his third goal of the season, the birthday boy, Jimmy Huntington. Happy birthday, Jimmy! Then at the 14-27 mark, the Iowa Wild get on the board with a goal from Stephen Fogarty. His third, assisted by Sammy Walker, his seventh, and Joe Hicketts, his sixth. At the 1807 mark, Kiefer Shearwood scores his fourth of the season, assisted by Adam Willsby, his fourth, and Jimmy Huntington, his third. Then the birthday the... boy. Yep. 
<laughs> then in the third at the 213 mark, Kiefer Shearwood scores his fifth of the year, assisted by Jimmy Huntington again, his fourth on the season. Three points for the birthday boy. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Sesame Street, you better not sue me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, then at the 2.23 mark, literally 10 seconds later, Joachim Kondalik scores his second with an assist from Tommy Apop, his first of the season, and Narvin Mutter, his first of the season, and it's good to see Tommy Apop back. Yep. Um, I, I don't know if he was a healthy scratch or what was going on, but Manitoba and uh, Texas are duking it out. Uh, they just finished up. It was five, six to five. Oh wow! Yeah, they were duking it out. Heavy slugging. Um, uh, from the looks of it, yeah, they won it overtime. So both teams get a point. Uh, but it looks like Texas won. So let's see how this impacts the standings because I haven't looked at it much. Uh, the Admirals have a three-point lead in the standings. Uh, they also have played three more games than the Manitoba Moose. Um, the Admirals in their last ten are eight and two. Um, where we sit right now, um, I'm not complaining. Right. Um, our division goes us, then Manitoba, then Texas. Uh, the, uh, Manitoba and Texas are tied at 15 apiece. Um, then it's uh, Rockford and Iowa who are tied at 13 apiece along with Grand Rapids. So there's a three-way tie for fourth through sixth. And all alone at the bottom of the division are the Chicago Wolves. Um, league leaders around the league uh, for the top five for the Pacific Division because there's 10 teams in that division. Um, Colorado Eagles at eight, five, and one. Uh, the Bakersfield Condors are at seven, four, and one. Um, Ontario Rain are at seven, four, oh, and one. Uh, the Tucson Roadrunners are at seven, four, and one. Literally, there's a three way, four way tie between them and fifth place. So, between second and fifth place is a four way tie. Um, that is the San Jose Barracudas. Um, in the East, it is, because we don't pay attention to them very much, we barely play them. Uh, the top four for the Atlantic Division are the Providence Bruins, who are 10-2 and 1-1. One and one. Um, the uh, Hershey Bears are 8-3 and 2. Um, the Charlotte Checkers are 8-4 and 1-1. Eight, one and, one. Um, and the Bridge, Bridgeport Islanders. I'm so used to saying Sound Tigers when it came to right. that. Um, the they are seven three and three. Um, the really close, uh, Wilkes Bar Wilkes Bar Scranton Penguins. Uh, they are seven four and one, and the Springfield Thunderbirds. Um, are six five zero oh, and three. Um, in the North Division is the Toronto Marlies leading the way with they are nine three and one. Um, they are seven two and one in their last ten. Um, the Cleveland Monsters are eight and five zero oh, and one. Rochester Americans are seven five one and one, and uh, the Bellevue Senators are seven six one and zero. Oh, with the close Syracuse Crunch being five six one and two, they're two points back. Um, team that has played the most games so far looks like the Laval Rockets, who have played 16 games. They are 4 9 and 3. Um, in our division, it is uh, Texas and Grand Rapids, who have played 14 games. We've played 13 along with Rockford. Um, the Wild and the Wolves have both played 12. Manitoba has played 11. Um, so we are at a 13 games into the season. Um, sitting at 18 points. Um, our goals for versus goals against ratio is 53 to 39. 
Um, I don't have my phone or anything to do quick math on that one. Uh, so I'd say 20, wait, 14 plus 14? I believe. So, wait, so 40 plus 13, yeah, 14, plus 14. The Admirals are a plus 14 on their goals for versus goals against. That is a very good stat. The Admirals are also the least penalized team in the entire league by double. The team behind us. We have 92 penalty minutes all season. The team right behind us, the most, have 219. Oh, wow. The Stars have 181. The Wild have 173. The Ice Hogs have 168. The uh, Griffins have 181. And the Wolves have 117. They are the closest team to us in that regard. That's actually pretty good. I will take that all day. Right. Your netminders for this game. Jasper Wallstead stopped 28 of 34. Um, and Yaroslav Askarov stopped 32 of 33. Your attendance as a Wells Fargo Arena are 8,730. Your referees were Reed Anderson and Sean Davis, uh, Ben Gonkley, and John Watson are your linesmen. Um, your three stars of the game were uh, Kiefer Sherwood with two goals, the birthday boy Jimmy Huntington with two assists and a goal, and number one star Yaroslav Askarov with 32 saves on 33 shots. Uh, with Askarov facing over 30 shots, I would expect Devin Cooley tomorrow. So with that being said, and I believe the Wild have have the Wild made any transactions with the injury to uh uh Flurry? Was it Zane McIntyre who went up? I think. Yeah, Zane McIntyre went up, Adam Beckman returned, Nick Patan called up. Um so for Iowa, my best guess for tomorrow would be Hunter Jones. Um, versus Devin Cooley. Um, also, if you see a tall guy with a slightly balding head that's walking around in a suit that's down in the bar area, you're probably going to run into Nolan Youngman. <laughs> uh, he likes hanging out down there pregame. I'm not really hanging out. He he goes by catering on our side. <laughs> um, so... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see that as well. Um, I would uh we will I will keep you up to date on starting goalies on Facebook tomorrow. Um, if I can get them before the game starts. Otherwise, you can follow the Admirals on uh, Milwaukee Admirals on Twitter at MKE Admirals, or you can follow them on Facebook at Milwaukee Admirals. They upload videos uh before the game uh to give you an ode to game 14, which will be tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is a dog day for the Admirals, bringing your fuzzy friend for five months. Um, uh, uh, around the division, Grand Rapids is currently beating San Diego four to two. Um, as I said, the Texas Stars beat Manitoba in overtime. Um, the Wolves defeat the Rockford Icehawks four to three. Um, and tomorrow in our division is us in the wild again. Uh, Rockford at Chicago, uh, Manitoba at Texas, and Grand Rapids at San Diego. On Sunday, it is Iowa at Chicago. So Iowa is playing a three and three. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see either. I wouldn't be surprised to see Jones again, Jones tomorrow, and then um, 
uh, Wallstead, or I wouldn't be surprised to see Wallstead tomorrow again, and then see Jones on Sunday for them. I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know how I would do that as a coach. You got a three and three. Wallstead had a bad game. Do you want to put him back out there? Or do you want to put Jones out there who's not been living up to his hype so far? Or do you want to, you know, what, what's your, your plan of attack here? What would you say, John? Um, Probably Jones. I mean, I wouldn't want to start my goaltender back-to-back -back nights after having a rough night. Right, Especially I wouldn't if either. Playing the other team, they're going to want to come into our building and shut us up very quickly. Yeah. So, um, just give her, give her, give her, give them hell, boys. Uh, just play your game, um, which we have been very good at. Yeah. The moment we deviate from our game, um, they run all over us. Teams run all over us. So, um, just play our game. Uh, follow what we do, um, go to morning skate, get some good rest. Maybe actually make, I'd make it a noon skate cause they got travel. So, um, just, you know, lots of rest on the way home. So, um, also I would like to wish, uh, the people of Buffalo and, uh, the surrounding area of New York, as they are getting hit with a horrid blizzard, I know, like, I got family there, and they're like, oh, we're Buffalo tough. I, I know, I know. For you guys, they're tough. Um, They're tough up there. They know how to handle their snow. But this is still a serious situation where people could get seriously hurt, so my, my thoughts are with the people of Buffalo. Um, as they go through this, um, you know, that's a tough, you know, with Turkey Day less than a week away, you're getting all this snow, you know, you know, um, I, I would just like to add that also, um, I have not seen anything, but I know that the Bills have moved their game against Detroit to Detroit. Uh, they were not going to get have that. They are honoring every single ticket from Buffalo there. They're going to honor it. So anybody who makes the travel will get in. So that is really cool of them to do so. Um, but I haven't seen much. Um, that game that was moved... Um... They play the Browns. Oh, okay. I thought they played... Uh... They play the Lions on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Um... From what I'm seeing, um, I'm not really seeing... Anything new on their front, they are planning to play tomorrow in Toronto. So, and because Toronto is not so far away, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure that, you know, I'm sure that that's, you know, they'll be all right. Um, also, uh, around the league, uh, let's see, uh, Notable guys moving around. Uh, Nikita Zaitsev has joined the uh, the uh, Bellevue Senators. Uh, Scott Harrington has joined the uh, San Jose Barracuda. Um, and Ian Mitchell has been recalled by the Blackhawks uh, going up. So those are your notable transactions otherwise in the league. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Troy 2 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 404 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. This is Daniel Goodwill signing off for John Lewandowski. See y'all.